I just thank you, Lord, for this podcast. I thank you for everyone who is seated here, God. May we be able to express our opinions, our beliefs with understanding. May your peace be here, your love, your grace and mercy and compassion so that we can just have a, a just a, an atmosphere that just it gives you glory and just, yeah, bring wisdom to people who are watching as well. Definitely. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Everybody clap it up for the second episode of the Left on Red podcast. Most definitely. Most definitely. All right. So I got a few disclaimers to say, you guys. OK, first off, I want to say I apologize. OK, I know I've been gone for three months. OK, it's a lot of shit that's been happening. All right. Yeah, I've been in a car accident. No, I'm playing. It hasn't been that bad. But um, but no. So, uh, yo, it's been a lot of stuff, bro. I moved. I got sick. I called off work for like a week. You know what I'm saying? I had to get furniture. So. Yo, I want to say y'all still need to subscribe to me. You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to know that, like, you know, I'm going to be more consistent dropping episodes, you know, weekly, like I said before. You know what I'm saying? All the sponsorships that I got, you know, still keep messing with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I'm just a nigga on a come up. You know what I'm saying? Trying to make a living. You know what I'm saying? I like that bread. You know what I'm saying? All right. So let me just introduce all my guests today. You know what I'm saying? What they do and stuff like that. First guest right here. Got my man uh, Ace. Raw, you know what I'm saying? He a rapper, you know. Uh, yes, let him know about yourself, Brian, real yeah, quick. No, you got to speak in the mic. Yeah, you get the mic. Yeah. God damn. Alarm. Uh, all right. Hold up. I know, right? Yeah, that's what I'm about to say. Yeah. And then I came already, up, I woke up. No. You already knew. <laughs> so, you know, but my name right, Ace Raw. I mean, I, I make music. I'm a rapper. No, I mean, I got YouTube videos. It's been a minute, but. He makes I'm, reaction videos. Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm gonna get back at it though, pretty soon. Definitely, definitely. Puff Puff Pass. All yes, right, sir. the next person we got right here, her name is Savannah, but you can introduce yourself deeper. Yes, I'm Savannah. I have a uh, TikTok ministry, Christ Princess. Um, I do Instagram as well, I guess. Uh, and really, I'm an artist, creative for the Lord. Yeah, amen. She definitely on that spiritual tip. Definitely, you guys. That's why I had her open up in prayer because I feel it's needed in today's, you know, world. It's too many sure. females playing with Christ. It's too many females on OnlyFans with crosses oh, on their neck. You feel me? It's like, what the heck? That's con totally contradictory. You know what I mean? But all right, go ahead, yeah. Josh. You, you got it. So uh, my name is uh, Rizzo Corleone out of Norristown. I'm a songwriter, artist, producer, mixer. I do it all. I just uh, dropped a project called Jedi 2 out on a uh, band camp. And yeah, check it out if you like. Jazzy, Afrocentric, East like East Side or East Coast hip hop. Basically, if you like music, Soul Child, fuck with Josh. Definitely. Everything. It's a mixture. It's a mixture. Yeah. It's a gumbo. Definitely. Yes, sir. Music, Soul Child, and Chance the Rapper. But all right. Hey, Rico my name next. is My name is Rico. I'm from out of, I'm out of Philly, and I do coding. I'm not really on social, so don't don't yeah. don't try to check me up. He don't like believe that. in social media. <laughs> he don't believe in it. I'm just he here. I'm just here for my brother just to look out. He just here for supporting, you know what I'm saying? God always grants you that in your life, you know what I'm saying? He always grants you that one person that'll support you, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, definitely, definitely. And we all a family at this podcast too, you guys, you know what I'm saying? We're going to have certain topics right now, you know what I'm saying? Certain people might disagree with one another, you know what I'm saying? But I just ask that y'all be honest and don't hold back. If, you know, whatever questions y'all got, you know what I'm saying? Like, definitely express y'all uh, opin opinions, you know what I'm saying? So, but all right, you guys, so we got five topics for today, okay? All right. Mainly with my channel, you guys, I mainly wanted to discuss like certain things that's going on in the black community. You know what I'm saying? I feel like everybody's talking about relationships. You know what I'm saying? So y'all looking at this episode today, it's going to be about relationships. You feel me? It's, it's going to be, a, it's finna be about relationships. You feel me? So, but every episode ain't going to be like that because I feel like everybody doing that. It's all relationshiped out. You know what I'm saying? But that's just how low the relationship dynamic has gotten in our communities. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's because, you know, that many people are having discussions about it, but. But all right, let me shut up. All right, so the first topic, okay, yes, sir. of uh, yes, sir. Our, our our first, uh, the first topic uh, in uh, Left on Red podcast is, is fornication misunderstood, okay? Now, we all know, we all know that everybody, for the most part, first of all, how many people have fornicated? I'm pretty sure we all. We, we've all fornicated. We, we, we how, many all have, fornicated. how many people have fornicated this week? <laughs> No, I'm playing. I ain't trying to get nobody. Uh, Brian, what the? Get out. You a sinner. It's like, no, no, I'm playing. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. All right. So uh, everybody has fornicated, right? Because, um, you know, we all didn't know what we was doing. You feel me? Um, now, here's the thing. 
So when I say fornication, the main top, the main thing I'm saying is, is fornication misunderstood? Okay. So the Americanized definition, okay, of fornication is um, sex outside of marriage. Okay. Any sex outside of marriage. All right. Now I'm from the mindset, right? And I have proof and stuff like that. So basically, guys, um, I'm at a mindset where as though fornication does not actually mean that, right? I'm at a mind, I'm at a mindset where as though, cause okay. It is okay, so my Yeah, that you asked. What's your definition of fornication then? My definition of fornication is you should be able to have sex with any woman you want to. No, I'm playing. No, no, no. That's not it. No. My definition of fornication is it is okay, right, to have sex with a female, okay? As long as you have the intention, right, to that that's my definition. You know what I'm saying? That's my version of the definition. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's not it's not it's not gonna be like on some Wikipedia type stuff, like on, you know, it's not gonna be but you know, but basically what I'm trying to say is like my definition is you can have sex with a woman as long as you going into it, you know, thinking of marriage, thinking about okay, this is gonna be my wife. Do you see what I'm saying? Not breaking that covenant from God. As long as you make a covenant from God saying to myself, okay, this is gonna be my wife. All right, so I think fornication is like this, okay? Um, I think fornication is any form of sexual wickedness. That's what I think the actual the actual definition is. And I'll have proof to, you know, to say why it is. Do you see what I'm saying? But this is this is legal, okay? Because we going by, see, I'm a, I'm a God-fearing person, okay, you guys? Um, I try to, you know, the laws and commandments of God or the Bible, I try to abide by the best of my ability. Now, I know I got tattoos. Do you see what I'm saying? And I know in the Bible it says you, you can't make markings in your body. Yeah, yeah, it says you can't make, like, markings. Huh? We talking about the old covenant. We under the new covenant. If you're going off of the Bible, yeah. So okay, you under grace, not the Levitical laws. Speak up louder, Josh. I'm in the mic. Oh, speak with more passion. No, just just speak like, you know, being more. But um, but no, 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 no. So um, yeah, I feel like fornication is any form of sexual wickedness. Okay, but what's you guys' immediate uh, thoughts of fornication? Then we are gonna get to why I think what I think. You see what I'm saying? But yo, yo y'all go. So I feel as though fornication is a natural part of life. And this is why I say that. Because, mm. like, we all have desires. We all have temptations. We, we all have desires. You're talking we, to them. <laughs> and, and we all have, like, temptations, right? And, like, it's an important time where we can't control those desires or temptations. So will you count that against yourself? Like, as in, as you're a sinner, yeah. you're a Christian, all right, so here we go. So you're you're a sinner, you're a Christian. I mean, you go to church, mm-hmm. but you you want a strip club every weekend. Yeah, would that you, that doesn't sound real godly. Yeah, if you're in a strip. So club. then, like, yeah. would you count that as sinning in your book? Because they're not counting that as sinning if they're going to to the strip club every weekend and they're still going to church on a Sunday. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. Wait, hold up. Explain that again, Bree. I'm confused. Wait, hold up. Hold up. All right, so, S- say okay. that again, huh? So like, they're going to a strip club. I mean, throwing money trying to bring something home. Yeah, that's a sin in my. I mean, to, to fornicate. I mean, yeah, you trying to fornicate? Yeah, yeah. Remember in and, Bad Santa, he was like, "I never fornicated anything." And was funny as say that. if you're a Christian man, you, and but as a Christian man, what if like they don't believe in marriage? I know Christian men. I know a couple Christian men. Yeah, that don't believe in marriage. Oh, okay, got gotcha, you. I mean? Got gotcha. you. Okay. So are you really a true Christian man at the end of the day? Right. So, yeah, so that doesn't still, sound. Yeah, that, that that doesn't sound really like fully Christian. What do they mean by that? What do you mean? They don't, they don't believe in marriage. Like they don't like, believe. When they say that, what do yeah. they mean? So, like, they don't want to be... They don't think marriage is important. Do you see yeah. what I'm saying? That's like, what, they don't want... In other words, they don't want to do it. Yeah, like, they yeah. don't want to be tied down to a person for the rest of their lives. Right, yeah. So that's basically going against God, basically. Exactly. You know what I'm but saying? But then like, you're still going to church on a Sunday. Right. So, in God's eyes, is that person... So will that person still be accepted? Yeah. I mean, only God can judge that person, but just me, if you don't abide by God's covenant, then, you know, you're just doing what you want to do. You feel me? But you got you got it, Savannah. Yeah, you're just basically doing whatever you want to do. I believe that, you know, scripturally, it does, in my eyes, promote sex inside of a marriage covenant. And even um, Jesus said, if you even look at a woman as to lust after her, you have committed adultery in your heart. And he he said, you know, the old law, you could d- get divorces. But no, I say, you know, you can't even get a divorce. You You should just love, you know, so. I believe that a man, a man and a woman should come together as the Lord leads, you know, because that's really how you when you choose like, oh, like 
following your own like I don't know if the if the if you really feel like the Lord has chosen this person for you and y'all come together, I feel like even though there may be a rockiness, it should all work out and mm-hmm. and um the Lord will really bless sex inside of a marriage too, mm-hmm. versus like outside of a marriage. Like His hand is on that, so I believe it might even be worth yeah. waiting for that mm-hmm. in Jesus' name. Just a disclaimer, real quick though. Um. Damn, I forgot my disclaimer. You got it, Josh. Hold up. Maybe it'll come back to me. Maybe it'll come back to me. Damn. Well, I believe in testing the product. Oh, you sound, sound like a heathen. A heathen, Rico. You sound no. so sinful. It's like, I'm, no. I'm joking, but um, I think, I think um, like, what is marriage, though? Is it a piece of paper by the government? Oh, is- yeah. Okay. Good. Disclaimer. Oh, God. You just, that's good. All right. So we all believe. Okay, all of us believe that it ain't got shit to do with the government. Do you see what I'm saying? Well, you ain't got to go down to the courthouse. Do do do. We believe that it's just a covenant with God that we're making. It don't got to be nothing to do with the government. Do you see what I'm saying? Because you already know the government be on that bullshit. You feel me? We already know there's laws that. Whereas though, if you marry a female in today's society, she gonna take forty acres in the mule on the mule. You feel me? She gonna take. She gonna take all your shit. She gonna take the chain off your neck. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how that's how the government got it. She gonna take the dog, the fence, all that. You know what I'm saying? Like. Shit, the air, right? The tree, the air, the grass. You feel yeah, me? So marriage is more like a business thing, right? In America, in America, yeah, you know yes. what I'm saying. But in the Bible, it's just like covenant with God. Do you right. say we all we all agree with that? You know what I'm saying? But, so it, it could only be so. So you saying that marriage can can be between two people? Then just two people. You don't need like a a pastor. You don't need nobody to. Yeah, as long as it's a covenant, you know, you don't need no pastor because there was no ceremony <laughs> ceremonial marriages in the Bible. Do you see what I'm saying? It wasn't no ceremony. In the, you know, okay. it was just basically a covenant that you make with God. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. It ain't got, it's just you, God, you know, well, you make then, that commitment, basically. But then, then there is... Um, and God knows when you're playing. You can't yeah. just be like, yeah, I'm going to marry this chick. You know, God knows mm, when you're playing. Yeah. You feel me? So, you know. Yeah. Well, then, if that's the case, then then fornication does have a different definition than what than what we're trying to talk about. Because... But what do you believe in? What do you believe that fornication... Do you believe in fornication, Rico, as a, the Americanized wording of fornication? If, if the way you put marriage, then... Then no, because if I'm if I'm truly believe that I'm gonna be with this person for the rest of my life, then then that's when we already have the covenant. Uh-huh. That's when you had the sex. But if you talk yeah. about like as in paperwork and all that type of stuff, then then it gets weird and stuff like that. Oh yeah, then it's good. Yeah, then I ain't finna do it. You see what yeah. happened to Tyrese? Yeah. The fuck? This so, nigga was on. This nigga was on live, just just tripping. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, what does she want from me? You know what I mean? Just tripping. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but you so, know. Yeah. He got mental problems. You already went, Josh? You sure? You don't want to go? Okay. All right. So let me so let me say my my opinion. Okay, what the actual, you know, uh, you know, what the actual definition of fornication is. Okay. So you guys, the Bible, right? Because that's what this episode is about. We on we on our biblical stuff today. You know what I'm saying? Um, so basically the Bible was translated into how many languages? How many languages was the Bible translated into? I mean, how what was the origin of the Bible? How many languages was the Bible comprised of? Four. It was like four. It was Hebrew, yeah, the original text. Hebrew, Aramaic, Greek, and um, what was the what was the fourth? Hold up, let me use Wikipedia. Y'all talk. I think it was wasn't it Islamic? Wasn't it? Hell no, yeah, it definitely wasn't that. But wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I just started reading. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I didn't mean to put you on the spot, Brian. Uh, wait, hold up, language, languages. Okay, so it's just three. Okay, Greek, Hebrew, and Aramaic. Okay, so you guys. So basically, there has been a lot of misconceptions about the Bible, okay? For instance, right? Um, the Bible in its original origin was comprised of three languages, like I said before, okay? If y'all did not know, okay, in the beginning of the Bible, it actually did not say in the beginning. The most famous quote in the Bible is, in the beginning, God created what? The heavens, the earth, and stuff like that. In the Greek translation, okay, um, of the Bible, right? The original text, I'm, I'm sorry, the Hebrew in the original text. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, it actually said in the beginning there was a God or something like that. Do you see what I'm saying? What I'm basically trying to say is the 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 scriptures in the Bible are different in Hebrew and it has it's, it means different, you know what I'm saying? It's it's different meaning to it. Do you see what I'm saying? I didn't really get prepared to say the exact meaning of it or whatever like that, but but hold up. I'm 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 about to pass it to y'all. Hold up. So the actual in, in original Hebrew, uh in original Hebrew translation. Yeah, in original uh, in original Hebrew for, uh in original Hebrew translation, the word fornication, okay? Actually, uh how you say fornication in Greek is porneia. 
That's where the origin of the word pornography comes from. It actually comes from the word fornication. Do you see what I'm saying? That's where all that's where porn comes from, basically. It's fornicate. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But you gotta just look up the Greek, the Greek original, you know, the original text. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, uh, and so, yeah, the original uh, word is pornea. And uh, this is why I say to me, fornication is any forms of uh, sexual wickedness. I'm a, let's read the, I'm on the, uh, I'm on the uh, dictionary right now, the Greek dictionary, right? Um, so, you know, fornication means sexual uh, immorality, illicit sexual intercourse, meaning unlawful sexual intercourse. And it talks about that in uh in um in proverbs if i believe but we're gonna get back to that i'm gonna I'm I'm explain that too um any illicit sexual intercourse okay adultery unch unchastity okay incest okay incest that's what what is that what is that incest that's sex with like your family. yeah your family members it's having sex with your sister mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like what the fuck uh s selling that poom poom okay basically that's basically what that is okay um basically you know uh like uh what is it uh what is, what is it called? Prostitution. That's illegal. You see what I'm saying? Um, uh, whoredom, you know, like I said before, and bestiality. That's any forms of sexual wickedness. That's what the original text was in Greek. Do you see what I'm saying? Right. It has been Americanized. Fornication, in my theory, it has been Americanized uh, for the powers that be to say, see, look, God doesn't want you to, you know what I'm saying? God doesn't want you to. Basically, what I'm trying to say is you can't just look at the Americanized definition. You have to look at the original. Like me, I want the original. I don't, you know what I mean? I, I don't want the, um, yeah, I want the source. You you feel me? You know what I mean? So, all right, you, Pat, I'm, I'm talking too much. You oh, got, oh, you going? Like, well, Grant, let's, like, let's, keep the, let's keep the triangle. We can do it this way. Let's keep it that way. Yeah, so it won't be, so it won't be. Oh, no, let's do whoever, how, how y'all want to do it? Y'all want to keep it in the thing? Oh, yeah, whoever got, okay. Yeah, let's do that. Look, my, my bad, my bad. I think mm -hmm. Raskat said it best that we, we, uh, we modify, we, we edit how we think the Bible is for our, yeah. for our, um, for our comfort. Exactly. So sometimes a lot of stuff through the years get uh get adjusted. Yeah. Get adjusted through the Bible through cuz you it gets lost in translation. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah, a lot of things in the there's a lot not to cut you off but there's a lot of things in the Bible that's very very misunderstood. We ain't going to get into everything today. You know what I'm saying? But fornication is one of them. You got it. Yeah. It's more than fornication though. It's but, more than fornicate, but, but you a lot it. of us don't don't speak those old. We languages. don't speak those languages, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So a lot of stuff so we can't we don't really know that much about the original text. Yeah. Okay. As we think we do. Yeah. So a lot of us is kind of uh, it, would it would it be yeah. sinning if you don't? Yeah. If, would it be sinning if you don't know? We just believe whatever the powers that be tell us. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what we do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like there was an agenda. So if you hold the mo my bad, but I mean if we hold the most if they hold the most power, right? They're going to change stuff to fit their agenda, just like how they knocked off the Sphinx's noses. Do you see what I'm saying? And then how they got Charlize yeah. Theron playing Egyptians and stuff mm -hmm. like She ain't even cute enough to be uh, Nefertiti. You know what I'm saying? She gonna play Nefertiti in the one movie. They don't even look right. What movie? No, no, no. no. The chick from um, the chick from Aliens played that, if I'm not mistaken. She played the, the ancient Egyptian lady. I forgot her name. What, what, what was it? I forgot, but they don't even look right, basically. Like I said before, the ancient Egyptians were called the Nilotic people. They look like Luol Dang and they look like Lapita Niago, okay? Picture Luol Dang in some Egyptian shit. That's how they look. But all right, you got it. You got it. Uh -huh. what's, your, what's your thoughts on, uh, like, what's fornication? Do you um, believe that it's sex outside marriage, Josh? Or do you I, believe? I believe, I believe yeah. fornication is basically sexual immorality. So anything outside the covenant of marriage. Okay. That's, that's how I... That's, I mean, by definition, that's the that's the definition of it. But mm. um, if you go back to like pornea yeah. and the origin stuff, it it basically explains that as well. Okay. Like it, even if you look in like the Strong's Bible, it explains or, what, like it like the origin of it, the word and what it means, mm. and and that's what it pretty much means is sexual immorality. So, mm. but it's not sex outside of marriage though. It is. It's sex outside of. It's I just outside read the marriage. I just read the definition. It said any form of sexual <laughs> immorality. Period. And it's telling. Yeah, but it's te it's not saying that marriage is one of the immorality things. Well, These what makes things. it immoral? It makes it immoral based no, on what, what I, makes it immoral. Basically, what I said. Like, okay, so I'm about, I'm about to say adultery, mm -hmm. right? You got whoredom, right? If you're selling that poom poom, like I said before, you know what I'm saying? Um, incest, okay? Uh, bestiality, okay? Prostitution. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, so, so you so mm -hmm. all right. So just to be, more I'm looking specific. right at the definition. That's what it says. It don't say outside <laughs> so, marriage. That's it's not what it says. Mm -hmm. But you talking the, about the definition of the word? Definition of the word. But based off of 
God, yeah, what he thinks of it uh-huh. is that anything outside of the covenant of marriage. Yeah, yeah, anything outside of covenant. Oh, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah okay, so I see what, what I'm saying. saying. I'm tripping, I'm tripping. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm tripping. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's basically yeah. what no, I believe right. as well. You, you right. <laughs> um, and even in that definition, mm-hmm. as I quoted that scripture, I believe it's in, it might be in Matthew 6. I have to look. But Jesus does say um, anyone who looks at a woman as to lust after her has Want committed adultery right. mm-hmm. in her heart, in their heart. Mm-hmm. So if adultery is sexual immorality, mm-hmm. that would Which still in the Bible's standpoint would cover like lustfully which a lot of people do in in general just like even if you're like well i don't know what, but like if you're mm-hmm. like oh what's my sexual orientation like you right, have right. to look you are already in saying something like that looking mm-hmm. at a person like do i lust after men do i lust after women mm-hmm. like it's beyond um that kind of thing yeah. right mm-hmm. but hold up there's, there's another thing i want to say all right so just to make the long story short <laughs> this is what i think i'm gonna keep it at all right i'm gonna keep it at a I'm going to keep it out of elementary school. This is just my thoughts. This is just my thing. Let me know what y'all think, okay? Okay, so fornication is not, I see a girl at a mall, okay? I see a girl at a mall. Fornication is, fornication is, okay? Let's just say if I go to the mall and I see a girl with a nice body and I say, damn, she got a nice body. You know what I'm saying? I take her home and then I hit that. That's fornication because it wasn't about God. It had nothing to do with marriage. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, if I was to go to the mall and if I was to meet a girl, we start dating, we start seeing each other, and then we talk about God and stuff like that. We date, we date, we date, we date, we date. And I say, yo, I want to marry this chick. This is going to be my wife. God, I'm making a covenant with you. This is my wife. Then I can hit that. You feel me? That's basically my 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 opinion. Do you see what I'm saying? Hmm? Because I made a covenant with God. Do you see? It's about God. She No, no, okay. She got to be about God, too. So, that, so all right. Yeah, so she got to be about God, too, is basically what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. All right, so what makes marriage... Official though, a covenant God's with God, eyes. yeah, a covenant with God. So, Y'all both gotta be following God. She has to be a believer. Of God, that was another thing. So you not think just it's just shit. a thought? It's just a thought. It's yeah, not like, but it, you can't play with the thought. It can't be on some playful type shit. It can't be like, yeah, this is my wife. She got a fat ass. You know deep, what I'm saying? That's like a deep. Whew, yeah. we can go to like the the. I don't even know like the analytics of that. Yeah. Like that's deeper than yeah. than just you. It's it's deeper than what you're saying though. Like you can't just be like yeah. You can't just be like. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna marry this chick, and then she's like, "Yeah, I want to marry you." But then yeah. y'all not married though. <laughs> yeah, you're not no, but, married. But, but you what, can say you want to want to get married. Okay, but, I feel like we married. But what makes it official? That's the, the point. The covenant that you make with God. Right. So what is that covenant? Marriage. What is marriage? A covenant with God. What the fuck? Like you, you, am I talking to myself? Certain like, reasoning. Huh? You gotta. You gotta. What yeah, you makes talk, it official? What makes a the covenant marriage with official? God? You talk. You basically talk to God. Yeah, that you see what I'm saying? Like when you make a covenant with God, you don't have to pose no way or wear anything or anything like that. It's just y'all are serious. She's serious about marriage. She's serious about God. You're serious about marriage. She's serious about God. And a covenant has been made. Do you see what I'm saying? It's not no ring. It doesn't say in the Bible she must have a ring. Do you see what I'm saying? In order for for sex. Another thing in the Bible that it never says is it never says in the Bible. It never says marriage. It never says the woman must be, um, it never must be like a ceremonial marriage or whatever like that before, before sex. Like, okay, so for instance, when God said, uh, when God said be fruitful and multiply, right? After the flood, okay? When Noah had all of them, when, when Noah, you know, everybody was having sex and stuff like that. Yes, Noah was married or whatever like that, but it never said, and before he had sex uh, with these people, you know, um, he was married. Do you see what I'm saying? It never said that. I, think the part that he, I can't speak on this part. Mm-hmm. I can't speak on this part because I'm not well informed. Like, yeah. no, as, it ain't even about being as, well Yeah, yeah. Informed. As yeah. far as like, all right, what does it mean when you actually are married? Is it okay. the signing the paper, the marriage license? Is that the part where it's official? No. It's the or covenant is it, that you make with God. See, that's the part we gotta look into because yeah. you don't know if. The, all I'm saying is this. Yeah. That all that I'm saying is this. The, listen, fornication is missing 67 times in the Bible, but it was never given a clear definition. In the Bible, it never gives a definition to fornication. We're just assuming that. Americans are just assuming that. Do you see what I'm saying? It never gives a definition of it in the Bible. It's always used. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Mm-hmm. I, I was going to say, dang. Did you forget? Yeah, I Passing, forgot. Maybe you'll think about it. My fault if I made you forget. Did I make you forget? Um, what was we saying? Well, about what, what is marriage? 
Oh, Did marriage. Oh. What is marriage? Um, yeah. It says Adam knew his wife Eve yeah. and she bore Cain and Abel, you know. So marriage in the Lord, eyes of the Lord, when a person knows their wife is the act of intimacy. And even when we, we brought up Noah's Ark and I thought of how God was like, okay, you got to bring Noah on the, Noah's going on the boat and your children are going on the boat and yeah. his, and the wives of your sons. Yeah. So it's like, even then he sent them out two by two. It wasn't like, you know yeah. what I mean? So God, even the way that he like saved the mm. children of God at that time was right. like husband, wife, husband, wife, mm -hmm. duo stuff. Definitely. We, listen, all one, two, three, four, five, I can't even count. All five of us all agree in marriage. We're yeah. all pro-marriage. We believe that marriage is the answer, bottom yeah. line. You know what I'm saying? We might necessarily not agree how it happens. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, what makes it official? Some people say rings and stuff, but I think a lot of that is just how we feel. You feel me? Like, but I already proved that it says sexual wickedness. You know what I'm saying? It actually says the actual definition in Hebrew that it means any forms of sexual wickedness, incest, adultery. But we got to get off this topic though because we've been 30 minutes in this topic. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say the reason why it's wicked is because it's outside of marriage. You gotta yeah. include that part. Mm -hmm. But mar marriage, like I said, marriage is is this. We can go, like I said, we we can just go back and forth with that. I just believe that it's just a covenant that you make with God. You just, you know, it's just a covenant. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, no ring. You know what I'm saying? I believe that once you have sex with a woman, then but you got to be serious about marrying that woman. That's what I believe. Right, so you see, see what I'm saying? I just Googled it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We looking at the Hebrew definition, Josh? No, I'm not. Yeah, right. You can look at the regular definition. I already told you America said outside of marriage, but let's switch the topic. Because well, we could talk about that for a whole hour. Let's We got miss, we got more time. We, we going to, you know, we can just... That's one of the debates, okay? You believe whatever you want to believe. Do you see what I'm saying? So.